Hey guys, what's up? This is Hex, and today is the first episode of what I like to call the Elder Scrolls Network, which is basically a new segment where I talk about, you know, upcoming stuff in the Elder Scrolls Online universe. You know, stuff like, you know, chapters, DLC, uh, updates, patches, and, you know, so on. And uh, there's a couple things I want to talk about today, and that is, first off, the... Uh, Update 25, which is going to be dropping along with the Hairstorm DLC on March the 10th for consoles. I have no idea what it's going to be for uh, for PC. And uh, this is going to be focusing along, you know, much like uh, the other updates that are coming this year. It's going to be focusing on stability in the game. And uh, for this, it's going to be, you know, trying to uh, make, you know, load times faster, make the game more reliable... Uh, you know, have the frame rates, you know, go, you know, a lot smoother. And any patches that are going to be coming, you know, in the game are also going to be a lot smaller as well. Now, unfortunately for everybody, <laughs> once you, once this update comes about, you're going to have to uninstall and then reinstall your game. And I know people are going to be like, what? Fuck, <laughs> I don't want to do that. Uh, but there, but, but the reason you're going to do this, you know, apart from you know the update kicking in is that it's going to make the game smaller uh, and i know you know a lot of people were concerned about that you know because when you you know the apart from the base game you know once you start tacking on you know dlcs and all stuff the game just got you know keep getting progressively bigger and bigger well once you get it re-downloaded the game on disc is going to be well for uh i think pc i think it's supposed to be uh, 16 gigabytes less and for console it's going to be uh, 30 gigabytes less which is actually a substantial amount uh, so that's all good now the other incentive you want to have for reinstalling it is that uh, Zenimax is going to give you a uh, a free pet so once you know you get everything reloaded if you go into the crown store and this is going to be for a few days after the uh, after the DLC drops uh, you're going to be able to get a free uh, pet, which is the, uh, I think it's the Crimson Torchbug uh, pet. Uh, so, right there's some of your incentive <laughs> right there. That free pet, I'm all about it. And, you know, in less space, you know, why not? Um, now, the other thing I want to talk about, uh, and they, uh, Zenimax talked about this a uh, while back, was uh, Vampires. And more specifically, the, the vampire uh, skill line. Um, this will be reworked, and uh, and they kind of kept a little bit vague about it. Uh, they did mention that the uh, ultimate was going to be different, but uh, they didn't really go too much more into detail about that. Uh, when, but one of the interesting things I thought that I, I kind of figured that they were going to go for this after a while was that if you that much like the necromancer if you did any if you do anything overtly uh vampiric you know in any of the towns or just around people uh that that's going to cause a commotion you're going to have the law you know come down on you and you're going to be they're going to try to arrest you or take you out <laughs> or what have you uh which is fair because i know that i know that when they uh when they had the necromancer class announced and they were talking about the same thing you know a lot of people that were going to go into that class were like complaining like well okay well why are we going to get the justice system on us you know what about vampires and werewolves you know so now you're going to have the vampires have you know suffer the same wrath if you know they do something overtly vampiric and i imagine further down the line they're going to do exactly the same thing with werewolves or any other type of you know, class that might be uh, unfavorably looked upon on, uh, you know, in Tamriel. Uh, so that's all I got for today, you know, as far as news wise goes. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I hope to talk to you guys real soon. Take care.